Hi everybody, Casey Zander here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you three female tests that 99% of all men fail. Now, the reason why I'm telling you these tests is because not only are they typically covert, meaning like you don't necessarily see them coming, but most guys, even if they do see them coming, they typically fail them. Now, these three tests is going to be the, depending on how you react, how your tone of voice is, how you speak, how you convey yourself, is going to be the defining line and the defining factor between you actually attracting the woman that you're trying to attract, getting the number, getting the date, anything of that nature. Now, before we begin real quick, you guys know I'm closing down the masculinity blueprint when we hit 2000 and right now there's less than 90 seats available. And yesterday I got one of the coolest testimonials I've ever got. On the video that I published yesterday, this is what Dylan says. He goes, my two cents for someone on the fence about the blueprint, I had been waiting to do it for two years before I pulled the trigger and I cannot express how much it's changed the game for me with women, but more importantly, as a man. It's worth 10 times the amount that I paid at least and the dividends will last my entire life. Thank you, Casey. That is one kick-ass testimonial, okay? And when I watch a guy's life totally be impacted by that, I know that it can yield you similar results that it's yielded me as well as it's giving members every single day. But with that said, let's dive into the three tests, okay? The very first test that you are probably going to see that you will fail is going to be the availability test. If a woman asks, what are you doing tonight? What are you up to this weekend, right? What are your plans for Memorial Weekend, things like that? What she's really doing is she's fishing to see if you have a social life of abundance. You're going to get mixed reviews and mixed opinions on people when you ask this, depending on who you talk to, but rest assured, this has been tried and true time and time again. You want to have things going on, okay? That does not mean that if the vibe is right, you can't squeeze in a date with her. That does not mean that you have to wait an entire week until your plans have blown over. You can squeeze her in for a date, but what you have to remember is you still have to have things going on. The frame has to be within your control. So what that means is like, you want to have a social life of abundance. You know, maybe on Saturday, you have brunch with XYZ friend group at XYZ time, and then after that, you guys are going to go to the gym, and then maybe you have plans to, um, that night you go to a motorcycle rally or a derby, right? Something like that, I don't know what you're into. Maybe you're going clubbing, whatever the case is. That's not to say that you can't still ask her and say, hey, we could squeeze in coffee for 30 minutes here at XYZ location. But what it does convey is it conveys that you have stuff going on. It shows that socially, not only are you liked, but you're liked to the extent where you have events planned with other people. This right here is going to register in that woman's head as not only good social calibration, but if you're well-liked, chances are you're going to have a good personality that she becomes attracted to. That is number one. Do not just say you have nothing going on or do not just say, oh, my plans are to just sleep in, right? Rest is for the weak. Just remember that. Always be pushing forward and always have things going on in your life. It is absolutely crucial. Number two is going to be the investment test. What is the investment test? The investment test is going to be when a woman that you're talking to, this could be on the cell phone, you know, this could be on text, this could be on a specific app, you haven't developed a, a level of commitment or a level of the relationship where there is any sort of congruent, consistent chemistry where you guys are seeing each other. But what she's going to do is she might start filling you in on certain aspects of her life. She might text you something along the lines of like, oh my gosh, work is so crazy today. Okay. Now you might think that She's trying to probe for conversation, but in actuality, if you start to invest and take a lot of logical interest within this, you're going to be hit with a pullback or she's going to withdraw. So what the 99% of guys would do is they would take that as some sort of conversation to run with. They'd say things like, oh, what is your boss saying, right? What is the, what are your coworkers saying? What happened? Why is work so crazy? What have your patients been like, okay? What have the customers been like? Those are the logical questions. And what happens is the more texts you send in a role like that, it sends one thing. And it sends something that I call certainty. When, you, when a woman has certainty as to where you stand with her, this will typically lower the perceived value that you have in her eyes because it shows you're accessible. It shows you're available. And oftentimes it shows that you care. The investment test shows that you already have 
preconceived investment or you already have a preconceived notion that you're invested in her probably off nothing more than looks, beauty, or just overall you like her shape and appearance. If that is actually how it is, that's going to be a massive turnoff. And the reason why it's a massive turnoff is because it number one, it's going to show thirst. Number two, it's going to show neediness. And number three, it's going to show lack of options. Your investment has to be very minimal. If you get hit with text, text messages like that, if you get hit with verbals like that, all you have to do is say something along the lines of flipping it back on her and framing it as some sort of judgment, something along the lines of like, yeah, I bet you have literally no patience, LOL. Or, you know, the last chick who I talked to who was also a nurse could never handle anything either. Something like that where it's just, it's fun, it's flirty, and you can obviously make conversation where you put the, the statement or you put the frame back on her. That's crucial. Number three is going to be the certainty test. Okay, what is the certainty test? The certainty test is when the woman is fishing for how certain you are to give her congruent evidence that you like her. So think about this for a second. One of the things that you will probably notice if you're a guy who is dating online, that you're dealing with with women in public, or that you're dealing with with women that you meet at the bar, at the clubs, at restaurants, things like that, You'll oftentimes get hit with a type of question such as, you know, am I like the other girls that you talk to? If a woman says, am I like the other girls that you talk to, she wants you to fit her frame. That would mean you following and you answering, you giving a logical or a direct question. Instead, be indirect and be non-needy. What the 99% of guys will do to fail that test is they'll say, oh no, you're completely different. Or they will just, agree and say, yeah, you're, you're kind of like all of them. But notice that she has certainty. You either gave her a yes or you give her a no. That is certainty. That lowers attraction. Sexual tension and specifically seduction is built when there is uncertainty and a push-pull dynamic that includes flirtatious banter and teasing. So if a woman would say something like, am I like the other girls that you talk to? You say, hmm, I don't know. Am I like other guys that you talk to? Notice you did not answer the question. You were indirect and you were non-needy. It also showed that you were high enough value to pass the test and not even directly give her an answer. You were willing to change subjects and operate on your own terms. So these three tests specifically, if you can pass them, will not only separate you from all 99 percenters out there, but this will already get you to start thinking, adapting, and being like the 1% of guys who quote unquote just get it. The guys that show true masculine competence and the guys that also know how to communicate with women in the right way so that way you can come across as a true high value male. With that said, if you align with this, just the small tidbits of information in this quick eight minute video, there's two things I advise you to do. Number one, go down below, hit the quick link to the Masculinity Blueprint Accelerator. That program is closing down at 2000. That quick access link will get you in. On top of that, if you are brand new to hearing about MBT, Masculine Behavioral Techniques, brand new for 2022, I shot a end-to-end -end webinar. That webinar is going to show you the four keys of MBT. You can click that link, you can hop into that webinar training. It's going to show you an exact step-by-step -step process of how this system works, how it can work for you, how it can help you develop the attraction that you want, and ultimately how you can get the results in life as a man that you have always wanted. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.